If you know me, you know I always have the sauce when it comes to creating clean aesthetic Instagram reels that pulls views and attention. And in this video, I'm editing an Instagram reel completely from scratch and breaking down the exact editing workflow that I use to create clean aesthetic Instagram reels in under 20 minutes. But go down first into link in the description to grab some free presets and also the footage we are gonna be using in this video. God damn it. Fuck, bro, look at this shit. Down goes a plan! <laughs> God damn it. All right, so whenever I'm starting a new reel, I just come up to new project, I name it whatever I want, I locate it whatever I want, and I always jump straight to the template and use this TR short form editing workflow because this is the bread and butter that allows me to create high quality reels in under 20 minutes. Now let me show you what that template is. All right, so what that template sec workplace is, is actually these bins over here in the right hand corner. They have my zooms, they have my hooks, and they also have my project assets that I just keep everything organized. That way I don't have to come over here every single time, create a new Brin, name it and everything. Everything's already automatically imported for me. That way I'm not looking for my zooms, which are right here, there's these drag and drops. I can just drag and drop it. Already has my sound effect and it just automatically does the zoom and then over here too it already has my hooks which are a huge game changer i just come in here preview any of these hooks i want so for instance let's actually use this one just drag and drop it just like so and now we already have my hook zoom sound effect already done for my instagram reel like <laughs> it can't be it can't be easier than that. This workflow list has everything already structured for me. So instead of thinking about setup and organizing things, it's already done for me. I have all my assets already done. So I can focus actually on the edits rather than staying stuck at my desk all day and just completely blowing my mind. So let's start this edit. I'm a guy that is very lazy when it comes to editing. I just try to make something once and then have it work for me forever. I'm sure you are too, and I'm sure this is actually gonna be a game changer if you guys are editing for clients because I'm sure you don't wanna be stuck at your desk all day editing for one single client. And that's why I use LUTs. So if we go into window and come into the elementary color, you can see that there's LUTs over here. I'm running in S-Log and if you guys don't know what S-Log 3 is, it is basically just a picture profile. That's why it's so like bland. There's nothing really like in depth. It's kind of, it's very flat. And so if you guys actually have clients, which I'm sure you do, if you just go down the link description, I'll put plug my free conversion lots that I got from Sony. I just use this one, I click it, and now you can see it converts that S-Log to Rec. 709, which is the color space that you see on all of the reels and stuff that you do. So after that, I don't come into here and mess with all this because I just use LUTs. Like I said, and a LUT is pretty much, I come into here, I look for my LUT, so I always go to browse. Oh, actually, for some reason, mine is actually fucked right now for some reason. But I just come down to here and I pick any of my LUTs that I want. So this one is a little too strong. You can always just play with the intensity if you don't like it or not. I actually really like that. That's actually pretty sick. But the one I really love to use is this one click color pop, but you know, not every single LUT is perfect, especially it depends on your color grade, it depends on your white balance, etc. But it looks like I'm actually gonna be using this one. I'm gonna turn it down just a hair. Uh, let's turn it up a little bit down. And boom, that is good for me. LUTs are just a super easy way to streamline your workflow like I just did. Now we're done color grading and we can get into the edit. Now, another, the next thing I always do to, you know, streamline this entire shit and you know, I'm not stuck at my desk all day is actually Adobe Premiere Pro will cut this video up automatically for us. So if we go into transcript, I already have mine transcribed. My thing automatically transcribes it, but if you don't have that, that's fine. There's a big blue button, just hit transcribe. It's gonna transcribe it, then come down to this filter, hit the pauses, and then hit delete. Make sure it's on extract, and actually before you hit delete all, come down to this, and make sure you're at point one. You can go to point zero one, but I've realized that it cuts actually like sometimes when I'm talking, so it doesn't give me the exact full sentence, and that just sounds weird and it just doesn't make any sense. So I say a right around 0.10 is perfect. It gives you some wiggle room if you need it. Now hit save and then hit delete all. And now it's gonna cut all those spaces up for us. That way we're not stuck here using the razor tool and going like this and you know deleting clips. So that's just one trick I like to use. I'm gonna get rid of all the filler words so then it's super smooth and we can get on to the hook, which is the most important part of your entire reel. So you definitely wanna, you know, you definitely wanna stay here. Motherfucker, motherfucker, you wanna stay here. I've been struggling lately and I wanna talk about it. I was tying, 
I would sign my self-worth. And if you're, if you're wondering like, what the fuck, how did he go right here, hit one button and then delete that and get rid of the space? My actual exact keybinds are in my all pack, which is my course that you guys can find down there that you get this entire workspace and everything. So I reveal everything there. Sign my self-worth to money. So if it was a slow day, and so if it was a slow day, so if it was a slow day or even a slow month, I just feel like I was falling from behind. And that messes with your hand, man. And that messes with your head, man. It really does. You're probably like thinking like, where am I looking? I'm always looking right at the audio wave. I'm never looking up here because obviously you don't like, you know, you can't measure anything what's going on there. So that's how I know there's a dead space is I'm looking at this audio wave. And if you can't really see it, just come over here and just blow this track up or whatever your audio wave is. And then you can see it so much clearly. And then I just hit Q, boom, done. If you max that long enough, the output has no choice but to follow. All right, so here's a quick little secret of how I keep my videos flowing very natural. This is perfect to just keep people engaged, especially, and your clients will be super impressed that everything just sounds super smooth. And that's by using what I like to call, it's like a J cut slash L cut. And so what is that? You just drag up the second clip. So make sure that this is on the first one, grab this bottom one, make it like this. And then all you have to do is just grab this one to the left, move it, and then you see how there's dead space here? All I wanna do, or not dead space, you see how this audio wave then slowly digresses and stops and this one comes right here. You wanna overlap them so then when you hold Alt and bring this to the right, it kinda makes a little, I would say that's a backwards L. <laughs> or like kinda like a J. Then when you play this now, and it's like, it's smooth, you're always talking, but then it cuts to the next clip, which just looks super duper clean instead of, you know, making it look look like this, where there's a little bit of a pause. Money. See, like right there, that was a little bit of a pause. Then you just rinse and repeat that for this entire reel, and it'll look exactly like this. Okay, so before we get into the simple drag and drop hooks that we are gonna be using, first of all, we need to set up the captions, which is the most important part, and it is the fastest way to actually use these drag and drop hooks. And we're gonna create some sexy captions, and everyone asks about my captions, so I'm revealing it. Yeah! <laughs> Go into text tab again, come into captions, and I'm not any special, I'm just like you. I hit create captions from scratch script, I hit this down, I bring those all the way to the left, hit single, that way they look clean and there's always one word up at a time on one single line. Hit create captions, and then it's gonna look like buns. <laughs> like, look at this, this shit looks terrible. So, we, we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna teach you how to fix that shit right now. Highlight them all just like I did. You can see I'm like, this workflow is just literally built in my hand. I don't even think about it anymore. Hit this zone, it's gonna bring it up right here. Depends on what footage you're using, but you know, if you went down the link description and grabbed the free presets, and I actually hooked up with you guys some free hooks also, and you're gonna be using this footage. Make sure to be using this footage. Then you're gonna correct it by just simply bringing it down. Where you want it to be, I like to, like I'm doing right now, play through it to see where my head is most of the time. And this is looking pretty tight. I wanna go a little bit lower, just like that. I like to go right under the chin because that's exactly where you look at every single time you watch an Instagram reel. And when you're talking to people, you're always looking in their eyes, but in, in videos, you know, you're gonna be looking up here, but you also wanna see the captions right here. So you're in the vicinity. You don't want them way down, you know, here like if you had. No one's gonna be looking at that because then you're gonna be going up like this and everyone's just gonna scroll past your videos. So it's a really good tip. Again, making sure that this is down just like so. I like it right there, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my caption style. I have a bunch of them that I like to switch, but my normal one, I think, is this one. <laughs> Look at that, just like so. Actually, that is not the font, but font I use, if you guys want, you guys actually want the fonts that I use. They're in that pack. They're they're in the workspace or you can, I have a font video which I reveal my top three fonts that I use. I'll tag the video up here. It'll pop up, you can go watch that. But the font I like to use is called Inner. I just come down to black. I put it up just a little bit, just like so. I don't like them too big. I like them nice and small because cinematic is small and tight. Bars. <laughs> 
Oh, yo, hold on. Okay, then I like to crank this VA and I like to have the words like almost touching each other. And so I like to go right around negative 50 to negative 60 and then it looks like this, just really good, really tight, really clean. And now here is the bread and here's the second bread and butter slash very good tip. Come up to graphics and titles and we're gonna convert these into a graphic. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna pop way up here. If you just drag it, drop it down here by holding shift as you're dragging and it won't move just like so. Perfectly timed for you. And now we can actually add effects to these. We can add all animations and we don't have to manually type these out. If you guys have been here, you know those days. You know those days. It depends on how long you're editing. So. Now, I'm gonna come into the hooks that are in that workspace. I'm going to come and grab my text hook and then we are just gonna look through these and see what one I want. I'm actually gonna play it and listen to it to see what one actually looks, I think would look really good. I've been struggling lately and so struggling is a big word, so I'm thinking of looking for one of these with a big, big word. This one would be cool, but I don't really know what to put for an icon. I mean, we don't have to use the icon, that's the, that's the, the lovely thing about this. Yeah, let's actually use this one. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it, and then it's gonna look like this. I've been struggling lately and... So we're just gonna delete the icon because I don't wanna use it. And then we are going to put this down. We have the sound effects already done. And now all I'm going to do is line up these. And I'm gonna make this one the same in the middle, making sure. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller just so then that that top one stands out more and it just is a lot bigger. And I'm actually gonna bring this down because it's a little too close to my head, so just like so. And I actually am gonna put it just above this struggling lately. That way we can kind of have this like, you see how the this I've been looks like it's covering this is actually over it. That way we have some more 3D depth. I love, that's just like, that's how this whole aesthetic of mine ties together is adding depth and that's what I like to do. So now we have this. I've been struggling lately and I've been struggling. So let's actually have this come in because it comes in a little too slow. All right, I'm gonna move these up to the top like so. I'm gonna move this zoom all the way up to the top and we are gonna make these a little bit bigger. We're going to nest them. Just like, oh, actually, we're gonna actually make these a negative effect. If you guys actually grab those free presets, which I don't know why you did. They have a negative effect that you can just drag and drop just like so. Now we have that cool negative effect that you guys see all over Instagram. I'm gonna nest it really quick just so then we can bring these downwards. So I'm gonna right click hit nest right here. And then I'm gonna bring this downwards just like this. Actually, it does not look cool <laughs> because it's not grabbing anything. Oh shit, you gotta grab the negative effect again. Okay, there we go. Honestly, out of all the, out of everything I do in my videos, this is the most time waster, is just me trying to find B-roll. So I'm gonna skip through this part so that you guys don't have to fucking watch me find B-roll and just be anal when it comes to B-roll. All right, I have my B-roll now laid out. And what I like to do with B-roll is simply just make the text a little more engaging. So I just grab all of these, just like so, highlight all the ones that are above the B-roll clip. And I like to just quickly, I don't like to do a crazy about, but I just like to add like some really cool animations. I'm actually gonna nest this. That way when I nest it, it all adds that, that animation adds to all of them and it just looks really cool. And what I mean by that is when I drag and drop this, then it'll look like this. You see how it like, it comes like that. And then we could actually cut this and then come over here and grab the exact same preset. This is my Apple presets, it's in the Apple editing pack, but I just recommend grabbing the all pack bundle. That way you get every single thing, you get the exact workspace and so, so, so much more. That way now it looks like this. And we can also make this one appear out, up, so just like so. Now we get something like this. I just feel like I was falling behind it. Oh, that's pretty sick. And then we can also add like a, that negative effect that's also in these, or you can come over to the free presets and grab that negative effect. I actually kind of want to make these actually bigger. So then it just, it pops more and we'll just scale it in just like so, reposition it like that. And now it looks like this. I, I just feel like I, I was falling 
behind that mess with and we could even add a quick zoom coming to zooms over here i'm running in a 1080 by 1920 but it also has 4k you just come over to the zooms pick out any of these that you want i'm going to just actually i'm going to look like this so that i can actually see what's going on and i'm just going to grab a slight zoom in smooth zoom in i'll adjust it to my clip and I now was, it looks like this i just feel like i was falling Behind it. Feels like these are a little too low. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna pull these all the way up a little bit by coming into the properties tab and just making it just like so. What I like to do in this style is really emphasize like certain words and you can do that by text and also zoom. And that's what I'm gonna do is a harsh zoom. So I'm just gonna come over to the zooms and just drag and drop the 105. That way when this scales in, it just goes from 50 to 55 or if your scale is 100 to 105. That way it just looks like this. And really, it just, that little subtle in highlights that really does. does. And then we'll get rid of this just like so. Then, I came back. then it like kind of goes out. And then I want to also add another smooth zoom in and out. So I'm going to add it just it like so. It really, really does. Then I came back to Epictetus. He said some. And then I'm going to cut this just like so. Get rid of this whoosh because it's not part of it. He said some. I'm he said. And then right where I say some, I'm actually going to cut this because. Oh, oh, oh. Get rid of that. So I have my color mat. This is something that I love to do. It's kind of like Tom Noss, if you guys know who that is. He just has this color mat, and then what he does is he put text on the screen. So if we actually cut this color mat, because I don't want it that big, and now you can see it's just a clean text in the middle of the screen, super duper simple and easy. This is just a great way to highlight words or something like that. So that's exactly what I'm going to add. And for this part where I, I'm quoting Epictetus, he says, some things are up to us and some are not. That's how I like to live my life. I'm actually gonna be using one of my Mogarts that I use that I just come in here, drag and drop it. And then boom, I get this exact, are up. this, and I just come in here and replace the um, this like just like so this just saves me so much time instead of animating them all all of these captions and moving them exactly where i want to be i can just easily write some things are up to us and some are not so and then go down e p i c t e t u t u s epictetus and then this week we get to get this he says some things are up to us and some are not. I'm gonna update that and add a slider so then you guys can adjust the, uh, I'm gonna update this so then I can adjust the fastness of this so then this does, this doesn't come in too fast, but I like it overall. It'll be updated very soon though. And I'm also gonna add a zoom because might as well, they're so easy to use. Let's just add a subtle zoom in just like so. So do that. Up to us, and some are not. Revenue isn't fully up to you. And then I'm going to just use some B-roll, put the text on top of the B-roll. Me, but all. I'm going to nest this so then I can just put it up a little bit higher. That way it's just, you know, in the middle of the screen, just like so. Revenue isn't fully up to And it looks like this. All the work that goes ahead of time is. So now I judge my day by input, volume, reps, effort and I'll add another zoom right where I'm talking smooth zoom in and out just like so volume reps and effort if you max that long enough the output has no choice but to follow bingo I'm done that was pretty quick <laughs> like I said if you guys want this entire workflow all the presets all of these zooms all the hooks every single thing I use to create these banger ass reels in a super short amount of time like I just showed you. Go check out the all pack. It gives you every single editing preset and plus every single new editing pack I release in the future, you get for absolutely free and lifetime of it. So it's a absolute no brainer. I would go grab it for me and my clients, especially so I'm not stuck at my desk all day. And you know, no one likes doing revisions over and over and over again and wasting all of my day just to do that. Now you don't have to because it's just so quick and easy. And if you wanna learn more editing tips and tricks from me, go check out this video right over here and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!